Hello everyone, this is Ahmed Dan and on this channel you will find financial, travel and more videos. If you like what you see, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. Thank you. Hello everyone, this is Ahmed Dan of AhmedDan.com. I just purchased my first Chromebook a few weeks ago and after using my Chromebook uh, for a while, I, find out, uh, I found out that uh, there are three features uh, you need to have in your Chromebook. Uh, Without these features, there's no point buying a Chromebook because it will not give you the portability and uh, the user-friendly experience you're looking for in your first Chromebook. So I'm gonna go through uh, about these features today. And uh, if you're if you'd like to watch my first uh, Chromebook review and unboxing video, I'll provide a link in the description box below. So now let's uh, go to my Chromebook and I'll explain you and I'll show you what three features you must have uh, in your first Chromebook or whenever you're buying a Chromebook. Thank you and let's go to uh, my Chromebook right now. Hello everyone. So we'll discuss about uh, the three features you must have uh, before buying a Chromebook and uh, right now you're looking at uh, the Chromebook I just bought a few weeks ago. So the first thing you should be looking uh, is to have uh, memory uh, more than 16 gigabyte. So if you go to uh, Chromebook uh, online or anywhere, then what you'll uh, notice that a lot of them have actually 16 uh, gig memory. So for example, let me just uh, zoom in here. And okay, so if you take a look at, for example, uh, this one right here, then you can see that uh, 16 gig uh, memory. And the next one we can see is 16 gig as well and the one after that uh, which is let me just push this over a little bit and here we found actually one is 32 gig and it's a little bit uh, uh, more expensive and then if we scroll down then here's another one 32 gig 32 gig 32 gig and again 16 gig so the cheaper one seems to be a 16 gig and then here this one for $229 uh, which is again uh, 32 gig and there's another $115 uh, which is again uh, 16 gig and this one is $650 uh, which is uh, 64 gig uh, it's uh, right here and this is actually my Chromebook or the Chromebook I just bought so uh, what it is that uh, because Chromebooks have uh, Google Play access and in order to uh, use your Chromebook to its fullest uh, capability, you need to have some memory space. Uh, for example, uh, if you uh, go to uh, the Chromebook and then you can actually pull up the Google Play and you'll see that you know, you'll have all the apps and everything which you usually have the same apps on your Android phone and in order to uh, install and run these apps you need memory and if you are buying a chromebook which is just 16 gigabyte then it's not going to work uh, after you install a few apps the memory is going to be full and uh, there's no point of buying a uh, google chromebook if you cannot run all the apps you require uh, because uh, a lot for lots of the like you know features and work uh, you will need to have apps from the google app store uh, so you need to have some memory so if you're buying a chromebook at least at least uh, 32 gig but if you can go for 64 gig that's even better so that's the first feature i'd look for in a chromebook okay the second feature you must have in your uh, chromebook is a uh, port and you should have usb c port not usb b or any other port and uh, if you take a look here so this one has one USB-C right here and then another USB-C right here and make sure that your charging cable actually uses uh, these USB-C to charge your uh, Chromebook. So the reason I'm telling you uh, this uh, because if uh, you have a separate USB a charging cable to charge your Chromebook which is not USB-C then you're gonna have to carry the charging cable with you when you travel and one of the reasons people uh, buy Chromebook is uh, its portability and to keep the weight you know at, at its minimum uh, so if you are having another uh, charging cable just to charge your Chromebook and which is not USB-C 
then you're going to be carrying more weight and more stuff with you and which is not a good thing so the benefit of having a USB-C port is that this is the charging cable however even you even don't need to charge your Chromebook this uh, cable you can just charge with any regular USB-C uh, cord and uh, for example even you can charge it from a power bank uh, just by putting it into the USB-C so for example if I just push it in here and if I just turn this on and then you can see right here you can see right here the tiny uh, dot let's bring this closer okay okay here so you can see right here that is charging and it's even charging from this power bank so you can charge anywhere you don't have to even uh, you know take this uh, charging cable with you and uh, you can just charge using any USB-C uh, cable and that's an advantage if you have a Chromebook which uses only USB-C but not like you know uh, their own or the manufacturers uh, another uh, charging cable which is not really USB-C that's the second feature you should have okay so let's take this out here and uh, Set it aside here and the third feature you should have in your Chromebook is the convertibility so this Chromebook actually this is a laptop however you can convert it to a tablet as well and if you do that then you can see that you know this converted into a tablet and it can actually you can have actually various mode for example this is I believe called uh, tent mode and then you can use it like you know this way you can use it like you know flat so it gives you lots lots of options so if you have a Chromebook which is just like a laptop doesn't do anything then you're kind of stuck with that feature so I would say if you are spending money anyway then just you know buy something which is give you portability and flexibility to turn it into a tablet or turn it into a laptop whenever you want so that's another feature you should be looking for in your Chromebook so again uh, let's uh, go over uh, the three features uh, you should have in your Chromebook very briefly and uh, the first feature you should have is that the memory you should never go with 16 gigabyte which most Chromebooks are if they're on the lower end if you pay slightly more then you can get like you know 32 gig and even if you have 64 gig that's even better and the second uh, must feature you should have is that uh, USB-C uh, port uh, and the char the, the charging uh, capability should be through that USB port but not other like you know port made by the manufacturer to charge that way you can even avoid taking out a, another piece of uh, equipment with you when you travel and the third feature you must have in your Chromebook is to uh, have a different modes for example it can convert into a tablet or you can convert into a, any other modes for example just like here so these are the three things you must have in your Chromebook. So thank you for watching this video. I'll uh, be doing some more Chromebook videos in the future. So if you like what you see, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. On this channel, I do actually uh, different types of videos, not just any single on any specific or single subject. So I do financial travel and uh, this type of video. So please subscribe and like, and I'll see you shortly. Thank you.